Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are hanging out in my bathroom because I'm gonna share with you something that has been requested for many, many years and I'm finally making it happen. This video is a get ready with me and my daily makeup routine. Now this is the makeup that I wear Monday through Friday during the week, whether I'm filming or going to meetings or doing press stuff. This video is really special because I have never before shared my makeup routine. It is a first for me and I got to team up with Estee Lauder Lauder, one of my favorite makeup companies. So a big thank you to Estee Lauder for sponsoring this video. Now, without further ado, let's get into this makeup routine. First thing that I do is I clip up my hair, get it out of my face, and I also like to use these little clips. They have a little flat side on them. You just doop. I also have these little clippy pins for when I do like rollers, and these work fine too. This is the starting point. This is what my face looks like with no makeup. You can see I have hyperpigmentation from the sun. I have really light freckles. I am Irish on my dad's side and Italian on my mom's side. My skin in general is more like my dad's side of the family. It's very fair. I freckle in the sun. I'm very sensitive to the sun. I also have two chicken pox scars. They're very light, but they're on my forehead, and you can see them here, and probably in some of my videos and pictures. So to minimize the look and to help my makeup stay all day, I use a lot of moisturizers to start off. The first thing that I put on my face is just a little water-based lotion. Make sure my face is nice and clean in the morning, and then I just apply. Oh, feels so good. I live in Los Angeles in Southern California, and it is dry here. The air is dry, the climate is dry, it's like a desert, and so more moisture the better. And I kind of give myself a little massage. I know you can't massage away scars, but I <laughs> Depending on where you live, you may not need to use as much moisturizer. I grew up in Seattle and it was rainy all day, every day there, and there was so much humidity and moisture in the air that I really didn't need as much lotion on my body or on my face. The next thing that I put on my face is a sunblock because like I said, I have very fair skin. And I just put a little drop. I put it right on my cheeks and my nose and right here, a little bit down here. Most days I'm filming inside or I'm at indoor meetings, so I don't use a lot of sunblock, but I always put a little bit in there because sunlight still comes through the windows and I just think it helps. Last thing that I put on my face before adding makeup is just a little bit of primer. I actually didn't used to use primer, but I've found that when I do use it, even if it's just a small amount, my makeup will stay in place and just on my face for so much longer. So if you've never tried primer, I would highly suggest Suggested. For me, it made a big difference. I also always put a little bit of primer in my scar. Just like painting a wall in your house, you wanna prime it, then paint it. So now it is primed, and now it is time to paint it. The first piece of makeup that I put on my face is foundation. These three colors, this is what I use all year round, but they have over 55 shades. So there's a bunch to choose from. This is the fairest shade, and this is the wintertime shade. Then the next shade is kind of more of what I am right now, and the spring or fall. It's this one right here, and this is called Desert Beige, and it is 2N1. So it's just a step up, but it makes a big difference. It's perfect. And then the last one is my summertime color. This is where I have the most color, where I'm spending the most time outside, going on some vacations, going to Hawaii. This shade is called Buff. Perfect for the summer. And the number is 2N2. Over the last six years, I've been working with some professional makeup artists, so sometimes I'll even combine colors. Like sometimes I'm in between these two shades, and they said that's perfectly fine to combine them. You can take a little bit of this and this and get a color if it's in between winter and spring, or if I'm going into spring into summer, sometimes I'll combine these two to get my most perfect shade, because usually everyone varies just a little bit like I do. So the the foundation that I use on the daily is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I like it because it stays for 24 hours and I have very long days. I'm up at 5 a.m. and then I go all day, film, 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 meetings, 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 and I don't stop until my head hits that pillow. So I always need a 24 hour, like a long wear foundation. And I also love these because they're very lightweight. They're like silky lightweight and they're buildable. I can put blush and different things on top of it. I can really build as I go, which is very important. 
important because I always like to try new things. Right now it's springtime. I am wearing the desert beige. In general for filming, I like foundations that are medium to full coverage and that's exactly what this foundation is. So if that's something that you're looking for. I like to apply my makeup with my fingers. I use my middle finger just like this. Boop, boop, boop. I put it all over the face, on my temples, my cheeks, just everywhere. I even put a little bit left over on my eyelid. Then once it's on, I take a little blender and just boop, boop, boop to make it look a little bit more even. I like to lightly dab all over my face, underneath the eye, up the side, do 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 forehead, and down the middle. Do, 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 do. <laughs> all right, that's it for the foundation. I absolutely love it because it's got this lightweight feel and it's got a cashmere matte finished look. Okay, next I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and on top of my nose. So I put a little bit here, same on the other side, I do a little bit here and here. And then right down the middle of my nose. I learned this trick from a makeup artist and I love it. And I put a little bit right here. Whoop. It looks like I have a little goatee. <laughs> Then I take my blender and blend it in just a little bit. Oh, you know what? Also here. Go up. Only really look, it looks like I'm doing a little Bob Ross painting. Painting a little happy tree here with little branches. Okay, then I'll blend that in. Then for under the eyes, I use a baby blender. It's like a little mini one. It's so cute. My face is pretty small, so the big blender, especially for the concealer, it covers half my face. It's just too much. Oh, there she is. That's a woman who slept eight hours last night. All right, looking good. Next, I like to do a little bit of contour using a little bit of bronzer. So just a little bit on my brush. And I like to go around the edge of my face just a little bit, create a little bit of shadow around here and up here as well. I also add a little bit right here on my cheekbone. I don't bring it down all the way. I usually stop about right here. I'll switch to a bigger brush to get my neck. On the weekends when I'm not filming, I usually don't match my neck, but during the week when I am, I do. This is a part of the routine. Not only makeup for your face, but makeup for your neck and chest. And last but not least, I put a little bit on my nose. I start here where the groove is, and then I just go down and on the other side and on the middle on the bottom. Pull it down, and I even take a little bender and lightly blend. Takes away any harsh edges that I might have accidentally done. If I went a little bit too hard, which does happen, it softens it. Next up is blush. I've been using this blush that has a little bit of like highlighter in it. It's illuminating blush, so I don't always have to put highlighter on top of the blush right here. It's kind of a two-in-one, and when I apply it, I do it the same as the bronzer. I don't put it forward on the apple of my cheek. I actually start further back. I've found that over the years, it kind of opens up my face more, and I really like that look. So I start here, and I apply it right on top of where I've done the bronzer. And I know this might seem a little silly, but I also put it a little bit very lightly. I bring it up here. And the other side, and a little boop. Now one of my favorite things, a little bit of highlighter. I love highlighter. So this is Bronze Goddess. The color is Heat Wave. Perfect for Southern California. Look how pretty it is. I love it. I apply this with a little fan brush. Just get a little bit on there and put a little bit on my cheek, especially on my cheek if my blush doesn't have anything illuminating in it. Dab, dab, dab right on the top. And I also like to put a little bit on my nose, right down the middle, and on my top lip, just a little bit, and a little here. Doo, doo, doo. Next up, the frames to the windows of the soul. They always say that your eyes are the windows to the soul. I have pretty big eyebrows and they sit a little bit lower on my face. I have a pretty big forehead. So I never add anything underneath my brows. I always add things to lighten them to look a little lifted. I usually add two things to my eyebrows. One is a little brow pencil. I just add a little bit here. My brows in general are pretty full. They have a lot of color, but they kind of taper off here at the end. So I like to add a little bit of shape and definition to them. Right here, add a little bit and just a little bit throughout to make it a little bit more even. I don't know about you guys, but my eyebrows are tricky. They always have been. Makeup artists have told me that they're not twins, they're sisters. But my eyebrows, I feel like they're not even cousins. They look so different. I went to a professional threader. They threaded them. I've waxed them in the past to make them look more similar. But one of my eyebrows grows a little thicker and higher, and the other one is lower and thinner. So I'm sure there's more people out there 
who have very different looking eyebrows. So my main goal every time I'm doing my eyebrows is to make them look more related. Come up a little bit here and fill in over here. And this eyebrow, my right one, has a little dip right in the top that the other one doesn't have. So I have to fill in just a little bit more on the top. After I've used a little bit of pencil in the brows, I use a tinted brow gel. Sometimes I'll do a clear brow gel on the weekend, but for everyday look, I use a little bit of tint. I start here and work my way out and just brush up. I've never laminated my eyebrows, but I feel like brushing them up just a little bit gives them a little bit of that look, just a hint of it. And I just brush straight up and it flares out just a little bit. Oh my gosh, my eyebrows have been through it all. These eyebrows actually grew up in the 90s. They were plucked super thin, and I mean like pencil thin. And then I was so excited when bigger eyebrows were back in style because that's my natural brow. I have little bushy brows, so I was so happy when I could grow them back out again. And now the thinner eyebrows are coming back. And now, punk rock, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna be rebellious and keep my big bushy brows. Now onto the eyes. I love doing eye makeup. I've been getting more comfortable with it over the years. I use a little fluffy brush, and the colors that I like to use are very natural. I love natural glam, meaning warm, more natural colors colors, nothing kind of like aqua or pink magenta, nothing too wild. I really love these beautiful pinks, browns, beiges, nudes, and a little bit of glitter. I think I like these colors so much because I feel really comfortable with them. My mom to this day doesn't wear makeup. On a very rare occasion, if we're going to a wedding or a big event, she'll put on a little bit of makeup, but she's very all natural. So I think I tend to love the more natural colors and looks. So I like to take some of the lighter colors, a little bit of white, cream, just a little bit and cover my whole lid to brighten it, especially underneath the brow. Then I add a little darker color and I put it all over the lid. In middle school and in high school, I never wore makeup. Maybe if I was going to a school dance, I'd wear a little bit of mascara and a tinted lip gloss, but I didn't really start wearing makeup until college. I met a bunch of girlfriends in college. They were all cheerleaders and I had just joined the cheer squad and I lived in a house with them and they were so sweet and they really taught me the basics of how to put on makeup. My mom didn't know, she didn't teach me and I didn't really know anything about it. And I loved it and the girls were so talented. That was the first time that I thought, huh, makeup is art. Instead of painting a canvas, you're painting your face and there's so much to learn about different colors and shadowing and shading. And that's when I kind of fell in love with it. I like to highlight my inner eye, so I take another brush and this is a beautiful like gold shimmer color and I put it in the corners of my eye, right here on the top and even on the bottom. Little shimmer shimmer. And then I take the little fluffy brush and I just blend just a little bit. I don't know why I do that. I don't know if any of you do that, but when I'm doing stuff on my eye, I'll be like, that doesn't help, I don't know why I do that. I like to do liner, sometimes I'll do a powder liner and sometimes I'll do a liquid liner. And today I'm gonna do both. So I've got a little thin brush and I'm just going to do a little bit of brown liner. For liner, I like to use a dark brown or black, or sometimes, like today, both. For me, applying eyeliner is the hardest. It's the trickiest. So I use this powder technique as a little cheat where I'll take a little bit of powder on a brush, kind of outline where I'm gonna put liner, and then put liner over it. So if I need to make any adjustments, I can do it now with powder. Not only that, but I put a little bit underneath my eye as well. On the under eye, I only apply it until here, basically where the color of my eye starts. And I bring it boop, 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 all the way around to touch. Now that I've got a little outline, I'm gonna do a little bit of liner. I do a really thin layer right where my eyelashes touch my lid. Sometimes when I'm going to an event, I'll do a longer liner look. Looks a little bit more va va voom, Marilyn Monroe, little kitty cat. But today I'm just gonna do a thin layer following my eyelashes. I just started using a white metallic pencil to line my inner waterline. I learned how to do this on the set of my show, Baytopia, a makeup artist there taught me how to do it. So you pull down your lid, ah! <laughs> and then you just put a little bit. It feels a little funny 
at first, but it makes your eyes look a little bit bigger and more awake, which is something that I might have needed when you have long days on set. You need to look a little bit more perky. Now, before I put on mascara, I'm gonna add a little bit of setting powder to my face. What I like to do here is use my blender. I just get it onto the brush. I go a little bit underneath the eye and over, underneath the eye and over. Do a kissy face. Mm-hmm. I got some more and I go right in the middle and go up. This might seem weird, but I don't completely blend in the setting powder. I let it sit here and I think this is called baking. I usually bake in the kitchen, but in makeup world, this is baking. I'm gonna let it sit while I finish my eyes and do my lips. To finish my eyes, I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara and we're all done. My mascara is really simple. I always use black mascara. I know some people use brown or they even have really fun colors now, like the blue ones and stuff. And I think they're cool. I just, I use black. And a little bit on the bottom. My bottom lashes are very small, so I gotta be a little bit careful. Now I'm gonna blend and then finish with the lips. All the excess powder, I just dab underneath the eye, over my nose, around. Oh yeah. On the weekends, I like to use a tinted balm, but during the week, especially when I'm filming, I like to use a little bit of liner and color. For my lips, I don't overline my bottom lip because I really like the size of my bottom lip and I don't want it to look bigger. I like it where it is. That's the same for my upper lip. I have a very distinct Cupid's bow shape. That's what I've been told it's called, where it's very pointy, almost like the letter M. I think it's really unique. I've had it my whole life and I just love it, so I never want to to make it look rounder or smoother. I've had makeup artists in the past ask me if they'd like me to like fill it in to make it look rounder. And I was like, no, I love it. I love my Cupid's bow. So that's something that I'm really proud of and I don't want to ever touch or take away from. So I'll make sure to hit those corners. Lips are lined and I'm gonna add a little bit of color. This one is a tinted balm. I love this. It gives me this beautiful color that matches my pencil, but it also gives me a lot of moisture. We're almost done. I'm gonna do one final touch. Sometimes if I'm wearing a shirt where you can see my collarbones, I like to do this. I take my little fan brush, some highlighter, and then right in the front on the collarbone is where I put a little bit of highlighter. That is it. Let's take a look. I'm gonna take these little guys out. Bloop. And da da! That does it all done with makeup. I really hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me today and seeing my everyday makeup routine. I just can't believe I've been on YouTube for so many years and I've never made one of these videos. And now I'm so excited and so happy because I have. I feel like I've joined a club. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And again, a big thank you to Estee Lauder for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click appear or appear. Appear or appear. Appear, 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 appear or appear.